Hi, this is Luke with Harmonica.com, and this is my review of the Honer Rocket. The Honer Rocket is one of Honer's newest designed harmonicas. It was released in 2013 and really came to market predominantly in 2014 and is one of their probably less known models, but it is a great harmonica with some very interesting changes that they've made to the design, and so it's really worth evaluating if it might be a good buy for you. It's not a super high-priced harmonica like the Crossover, but it is about 5 or 10 bucks more than, say, the Marine Band Special 20 Golden Melody kind of price range. So the Honer Rocket ships with this case, which is similar to the Honer Crossover case. They seem to be identical. Instead of the big kind of bulky plastic box, these are a little sleeker, kind of an oval shape. And they're kind of like a hard nylon case with a zipper. And they're designed to keep dirt and debris from getting inside and also to allow moisture to escape from the inside out. So it's a really cool case if you don't have a case that you keep all your harmonicas in. Um, I think this is really nice. It just fits in the pocket, takes up a little bit less real estate. Now if we open this up, it pretty much looks more or less like a Special 20 except that it has a gray plastic comb instead of a black plastic comb. But if you look more closely, you're going to notice something else, and that is that the holes on this harmonica are actually a little bit bigger. I'm going to grab a Special 20 here and put them next to each other so you can see. If we can get in close on this, hopefully you can see that the Rocket harmonica is a little bit wider, just a little bit, just a couple millimeters, I think. And each one of these holes is a little bit bigger. And so Honer actually claims that this harmonica is easier for beginners to be able to isolate notes on than a regular sized harmonica is. The other thing, if I flip it around that you'll notice, is the back of this. There's not very much space here on the Special 20 for the sound and the air to get out compared to all this space here on the Rocket. Also, one thing that I do like about the design here is that there's these kind of supports in the middle because over time I've noticed like the crossover does not have these supports and over time the cover plates will kind of bend down here. But with this design it has that support so it's going to stay in this nice open shape and that's part of what gives it its superior projection. One thing I can say about the Rocket for sure is that it has a louder projection than any of the other harmonicas that I've played and that's for two reasons. One is because, like we just looked at, there's more space here. And then the other reason is that they also have created these little vents in the side of the cover plates, both on the top and the bottom. Now, they do have two versions of the Rocket. This is the regular Rocket, and then they have one called the Rocket Amp that does not have this little vent here in the side because... The vent in the side is good for increasing the volume if you're playing in an acoustic ensemble and you're having trouble hearing yourself, you're having trouble projecting over the ensemble, this would be great if you're playing unamplified. Let's check out the tone. Yeah, the tone is awesome. I give it a five out of five. It's like somewhere I feel like between a Special 20 and a Marine Band. It's got a darker tone than the Marine Band, I think, but it's got, I think because of the vents in the side here, it's got a little bit of a raspiness, almost a little bit more of a woody sound compared to the Special 20. And let me go ahead and play all three for you one after the other so you can hear for yourself. All right, so here's the Special 20. And the Marine Band. And the rocket. So do you agree with me? I feel like it's kind of somewhere right in between the Special 20 and the Marine Band in terms of tone. It's definitely louder. I don't know if you heard the difference. I'm trying to pay attention that I'm keeping the same mouth po position and the same air pressure between each one of these harmonicas as I play them for you. And the rocket, when I play the rocket, and then the Special 20. 
special 20 and then rock it. Like the rock and I'm like, wow, okay, yeah, that is significantly louder. Like I can definitely hear the difference from where I am. Also on the subject of tone, this is another just intonation tuned harmonica. So chords sound really pretty on this harmonica, just like they do on the Special 20, the Marine Band, and the Crossover. So they're all different. The Golden Melody kind of sits in its own world in having that equal temperament tuning. It sits in its own world along with the Lee Oscar harmonicas, I should say. All right, let's check bendability. Five out of five stars. This thing bends really easily. I can control all the bends with great precision. No problems at all. Five out of five stars for bendability. Responsiveness. I wrestled a bit with responsiveness because... Honer is touting that, th that this harmonica is supposed to be even more responsive because of the changes of the design of having these slightly larger holes and they're kind of conical, they're tapered in, and so it's supposed to get more airflow in and it's supposed to be even more responsive. But in my playing style, in my experience, I found it less responsive than a Special 20. So if I'm looking for a harmonica that I really want to be able to play fast passages on accurately, I find the Special 20 and the Golden Melody to be a little bit more responsive, and I'm not sure why. But I'm going to go ahead and dock it one star, give it a 4 out of 5 stars. For responsiveness, I personally prefer the Special 20 or the Golden Melody. Comfort. All right, comfort. This thing gets a 5 out of 5 stars. This is very comfortable. It's comfortable like the Special 20 in that it's got that ABS plastic comb, so it's very comfy on the lips. Also like the Special 20, it's got the recessed reed plates. The reed plates are recessed down into the comb, so they're not poking out and cutting your lips. Not only that, but they've also rounded the corners, which was my one complaint in comfort with the Special 20. So it's even more comfy than the Special 20. Also, because it's a little bit larger, if you're a large person, you got a big mouth, you got big hands, then this might be comfy for you just to, just to have a little bit more substance to hold on to compared to a slightly smaller harmonica. So again, comfort, five out of five stars. Looks. Personally, I think this is a pretty ugly harmonica. To me, the gray is even uglier than the black plastic. Lee Oscars are not much to look at but I actually like the look of them better. To me, this is the least attractive harmonica in Honer's line. So I was gonna give it a three out of five stars, except for, hey, Honer made a key label that I can actually read in a dark club, thank you. So because they finally got a key label, it is on the side of the harmonica and it's only a first position key label, but at least it's something that I can read. It's not just some little engraved thing on the cover plate that I can't see in a dark club. And so that's awesome. They got the key label right. Good job, Honer. So I give it a four out of five stars for looks. It's really nothing to look at. It's not sexy, but it's got a great key label. And then in terms of durability and fixability, I would think this is very durable and fixable. The reeds themselves and the reed plate are very comparable to just like a special 20. Also, nice feature here. Th there's only two screws on the cover plate, which is nice. And they are Phillips head screws here. So I think the cover plates would be very easy to take off if you want to clean it or tune it or fix it. So I would think this is a very durable and easily fixable harmonica. All right, so all in all, I give the Honer Rocket a 4.6 out of five stars. Great tone. I was hoping it would be more responsive. All right, and that's my review of the Honer Rocket. I hope you found this review helpful. If you have any further questions or comments, please leave them below. I always love to hear from you. Also, if you liked this video, please don't forget to give it the thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure and hit the subscribe button so that you can get all the latest gear reviews and free lessons. There's going to be a lot more coming your way soon. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Luke with harmonica.com. Keep on playing the harmonica and making the world a better place. It's comfortable like the Special 20 in that it's got that same kind of black, not black plastic, it's got that same ABS plastic comb. The black, the black plastic, why do I keep saying that? It's not black, Luke. <laughs>
It's gray. It's gray. I know my colors. 